Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor, and I'm a stay-at-home mom of three kiddos. And so today, I'm hoping I will be able to tackle two areas of our kitchen that have kind of just been a catch-all since we moved in. They've never really been organized. Things just kind of seem to be getting piled on them, and I want to get them cleaned before Christmas and before I start decorating for Christmas, which fingers crossed is soon. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you the areas that I'm talking about. So this is the first area. It is connected to our like kitchen counters and it is a desk space. So technically you're supposed to put a chair here, I think, but um, it just works really well to have the cat food right there. We used to have a different water bowl sitting right here, but this one needs to be plugged in and there's no plug in under here. It's up on the wall. So this has been a catch all for my husband's tools <laughs> and miscellaneous items that we just like haven't really found a home for yet. And so I would like to tackle this area get it all cleaned, put the stuff away that's on it that has homes, and then anything that needs to go out into our garage, which you can see back here, um, I'm gonna stick in a old laundry basket, and then he can just take the whole basket outside and do with what he wants with that. And then there's a few things on our table that need to be thrown away. This also needs to be organized, so this is the second area. This has just been a catch-all for the kids' crafts and all of their like coloring supplies and bills. <laughs> As you can see, we have one of those tiny little like briefcase filing cabinets, which is in our bedroom. And so I need to get that out and put all of the bills and stuff that we need to keep in there. And then Basically, all of this is empty, and so I need to take pretty much everything that's on here and just organize it into the drawers and the little cupboard, and then I can finally spruce this up, and uh, when I decorate for Christmas, I can put some Christmas decorations on it, but yeah, these are the two areas that I really would like to get done today. I was hoping to have them done earlier, but my kids... Are sick again and I know I said that in I believe it was my last vlog and it has been a lot so Isla's starting to get a runny nose she was supposed to have her six month shots today and I canceled those because I am not about to deal with a sick baby who just had shots <laughs> and I don't think you're supposed to have them get them if they're not feeling well so I just decided to go ahead and cancel those and I will rebook when she is feeling better Huxley is on the struggle bus. He has a double ear infection, he has a bacterial eye infection, and he also has a fungal infection in his toes alongside this cold that he has picked up from Cage who brought it home from school. Cage is doing so much better. He still has a little bit of a runny nose and a, a cough every once in a while. Other than that, he just finished his medication for his ear infection today and so that is hopefully gone and he will be good to go on that. So yeah, I think I can hear Huxley and he's just getting up from his nap. So I'm going to go get him. Fingers crossed he is in a good mood because he was in a good mood this morning. So we'll see. We have to go get Cage in about 40 minutes from school and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mommy has got nothing done because this one is being <laughs> A psychopath. Miserable. She is so tired. She has not napped that good at all today. And she's catching her brother's cold. And so her nose is very runny and she's not feeling very good. And she just wants to be held constantly. Hey. You just want to be held. Yeah. So I'm hoping to start that project, I guess you could call it, when all these little kitties go to bed. 
But we'll see. <laughs> what are you doing? Isla. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. Hi guys. So it's the next day now. I literally did nothing last night after the kids went to bed. I was so exhausted. I climbed in bed and watched um, Bachelor in Paradise and then went to sleep after Cody got home. Um, with my children being sick and just like beyond needy <laughs> right now, I am mentally and physically and emotionally just like completely drained. And so I am planning to tackle those two spaces today after we go pick up um, Cage from school, which we have to do in about half an hour. Um, Isla is napping and so I'm going to have to wake her up and I believe Huxley just woke up from his nap. So I'm going to go get him and then we'll go get Cage and then I'll probably have to get them a snack or start dinner and um, then I should be able to get started on the projects. Fingers crossed that my children cooperate. <laughs> They've been extremely whiny, just like needing snuggles because they don't feel good. And I mean, I don't blame them. I am kind of the same when I'm sick. <laughs>
anybody else have an abundance of candy from parades over the summer and Halloween? Because these bags are full. Full. I'm probably just gonna like throw 90% of it away. Jeez. looks significantly better but <laughs> now I have to deal with this I don't really know what to do with all of the bubbles um, I may put them downstairs in our storage room our humidifier needs to go in the living room but our entertainment stand is all taken apart because we need to get rid of our surround sound that's in the living room that um, the books need to go downstairs. The bug spray and stuff needs to go in our utility utility closet. Um, in the hallway upstairs, the sleeping bag needs to go downstairs to the storage room. So, I mean, there are places for that stuff to go. I just have to do it. <laughs> and then I also need to do this. But I think I'm going to wait and do this after the kids go to bed because it is almost five o'clock and so I need to make them dinner now. So for supper I just made um, the last three chicken burgers that we had in the freezer and then I cut them up for the boys. They each have half. Um, there's one and a half more so if they want more they can have more. I made a wrap out of half of one and so I put mayo, ketchup, lettuce, and cheese on it. That's it because I'm a picky eater. <laughs> and then I made them some, well, cage, I guess. I made cage some onion rings in the air fryer as well. Um, Huxley probably wouldn't eat those. And I had uh, curly fries for lunch. Like, that's all I had. I wasn't that hungry. And so there's a few of those left, but they're kind of spicy. And so the kids don't really like them. So. I'm just gonna finish dinner and then once we're done eating, I'll probably put the boys in the tub and then when they get out, I'll put Isla in the tub. She's napping right now, so I'll probably wake her up around six o'clock. That way she'll go to bed around eight or 8.30. So I just finished giving the boys a bath and now I'm about to put Isla in the tub and then it will be bedtime. I had to change my shirt because the sweater I was wearing before, um, the sleeves like, are too tight so they don't roll up and so I would have been soaked <laughs> if I would have wore that to give the boys a bath. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go run the tub and put Isla in there. 